and I definitely prefer the arcade ones because there's nothing beats being able to stand up against a machine, kick it. Well, this is actually my largest individual collection. There's around almost 1,200 PS2 games here. What are we looking at here? Like every video game under the sun? Last week on the show, Natasha met up with a guy who started his own PC museum of sorts by single-handedly collecting almost every PC that's ever been created. And this week, Natasha shows us his collection extends beyond just computers with keyboards and monitors into video games. Yeah. Okay, so taking a closer look, Sid, I see you have a problem. Like, holy video games. How many of, the, how many of them do you have right here? Well, this is actually my largest individual collection. There's around almost 1,200 PS2 games here. Anything that's super rare, super cool, super odd? Well, you know, we've actually got more stuff in different rooms, so maybe we can go take a look at those and see what else we got. There's more? Absolutely. I like that. Look at this. What are we looking at here? Like, every video game under the sun? Pretty much every game system, for sure. I don't have every game for every system. I do have a complete Dreamcast collection. Oh, one of my favorite Dreamcast! Systems. We're Soul Calibur. Yeah. I love Soul Calibur. Well, I'm playing. Yeah. I want you to find me your rarest item. Well, probably the rarest item is actually the Amiga CD32 console up here in terms of systems. Uh, this machine, there was less than 100,000 of them produced. I like that. With only 100,000 of these produced, it was pretty cool to see one in person. Just when I thought it couldn't get any cooler with the vast number of old video games on display and ready to be played with, Sid revealed this rarity. Oh, what uh, is the oldest game? Well, the oldest thing here is actually the Odyssey game system, which oh. is down here. Whoa, and check this, this out. Actually, 1972, uh, there was no sound, hooked into your TV, and it was essentially like a Pong game. This came out after Pong, but it was uh, Coleco before they made the Cabbage Patch Kids. Oh, okay. Actually produced the Telstar. Over a million of these machines sold, and it was actually very popular, almost as popular as Pong itself. Back in 1972, Pong was the hottest video game going. Today, video gamers may disagree and consider Pong rather odd. Well, believe it or not, there's something even more odd than a square bouncing between two analog paddles. So from the rarest, what's the oddest? The oddest is definitely the Virtual Boy from Oh, Nintendo. okay, let's check this out. So that's how you actually have to play the game. And the thing is, we don't have this one plugged in right now. Oh, I've seen but... tons of stuff. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well then. <laughs> All right, the billion dollar question. We have PS3 and we have Xbox 360. So why really would anybody want to play with these games? Well, bottom line is it doesn't matter how new or how great the technology is, are they fun to play? Well, Sid, this has been a totally awesome walk down memory lane. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. And I do wish you all the best with this because I'm sure the museum will be a great success. Excellent. Want to hit the arcades? Yeah, let's go play some games. All games. right. Over 5,000 video games? Wow. Uh, Sid, I have this friend that would like to go to your next games night. His name's AJ. That's all for the circuit. I'll see you next week. So last week on the show, I put out a request that anyone out there who happens to know how to get their hands on an Amiga emulator version of this game called Conquest, please send it to me. And Sid actually was watching, and he sent me a working copy, which is pretty amazing. So if anyone out there wants to get a game of Conquest going, just shoot me an email, spacecast.com. Otherwise, man, what other programs or games would I like to get my hands on from Amiga? What about Deluxe Paint? Sid?